arms right there. Let's let's all do it together to surprise the members. Okay, everyone, everyone, calm down. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my fellow pieces, give it up for P1 Harmony. It's the next day. Um, a lot of things happened. I just want to apologize for not vlogging as much as I thought I would. I completely forgot that like traveling can be like very overwhelming and like exhausting and majority of the time i was busy getting an uber like putting directions on to like go to the places we needed to go looking for the airport and all that so it was pretty hectic and i wish i vlogged more but you know there were times when we would get frustrated and i didn't really want to like record that you know that's what i'm gonna do this speaking portion at the end just to like talk about what happened in la so just before i start or anything i want you guys to know that i'm not like the things i'm gonna say and like the things I'm gonna mention that like happened. I don't want you guys to think that I'm bragging or showing off or that I think I'm like this huge important person that's not what i'm trying to do at all a lot of things that happened yesterday i didn't think were gonna happen i didn't think that would ever be a thing so i just want to let you guys know i hope you guys don't think i'm like showing off or anything also just in advance if any of you guys are here to see like my concert videos because i know a lot of people primarily watch vlogs or stuff like that because they want to see like oh like what kind of videos or pictures you got of the concert or like of the members just a heads up i didn't record anything because i was all the way in the back i couldn't see anything so I was just vibing in the back. So I literally, I recorded a few clips of like their performances, but there was, there's literally no point of the recording because you, you literally can't see anything. You could just see the people in front of you, like holding up their phones. Like that's all you could see. So I literally did not see anything. So if you're here because you want to see the clips that I got, um, I literally don't have anything. So just like warning you in advance, if you're here for that. I don't have that. I'm gonna just do like a summary of like what happened and my thoughts and basically like what I did. So basically I went to Michigan last week for like four days, four or five days. And then I came back Monday in the afternoon and then immediately I slept. And then immediately the next day I had to wake up at five in the morning to go for my flight to LA. I was in LA only for 12 hours. It was a really short day. It went by so fast. So yeah, I went with my sister. It was just us two. I completely forgot that for concerts or like performances, you have to get there early. When we were planning for this trip, I was like, okay, the concert starts at 5.30, right? 5.30 p.m. So that means we can go explore LA. We can go to like cute restaurants, cute stores and like buy stuff. And then we'll just show up like 30 minutes before the concert and it'll be fine. That was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake because I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a performance like I didn't think a lot of people were gonna show up and I think a lot of people thought that and I don't think the venue or like the place pe the people that work at the place I don't think they thought that a lot of people were gonna show up so that was a mistake on like my part because obviously I did want to see up close and did want to see like the members you know perform or whatever but I didn't get to see that which was kind of sad but you know I think they'll eventually go on tour so you know I'll just wait for that so yeah I didn't account for that and I had a few friends 
who offered to like give me a spot or like to um, save me a spot for the concert I like did not make it in time so by the time I got there people already entering so I was like okay we'll just go at the end of the line so basically my sister and I got to LA we rented a car so we can drive around just to make it easier we went to little Tokyo or I think it's like little Japan and there's like a lot of stores there and like restaurants and we literally ran out of time we only got there and we only went to a restaurant and got food to go because we were already running like pretty late and then right after that we went to the academy of academy of museum because i saw a tiktok where they had a studio ghibli exhibition and my sister and i are huge fans of studio ghibli and i wanted to take her there and we had already bought tickets so it's not like we could just like cancel it or whatever so then we got to the museum and we spent like maybe an hour or two there we went to a cute little gift shop and there was a lot of like studio ghibli merch and stuff and i really wanted to buy the my neighbor totoro backpack because i saw that soul from p1 harmony has it and i really wanted to get it and then take it to the concert but unfortunately they sold out and i was so upset my sister bought a shirt and stickers i think we only visited the studio ghibli um section we didn't go to any other the exhibition itself was so cute i 100 percent recommend if you're in the la area they don't allow cameras and videotape or for you to videotape in the exhibition so i don't have a lot of pictures or videos like i didn't take any pictures or videos from the exhibition just from like the outside but other than that it was such a cute experience it was nice seeing like the sketches and like all the art prints and stuff from like the movies and it was just overall such a cute experience i wish I had more time to fully like look at everything and like look at the other floors in the museum but I didn't we didn't really have enough time after the museum we went to the P1 Harmony performance which is in it was in the bank stadium I for I don't know where stadium I'm not from my life so I literally have no idea but we drove there and it was such a pain there was so much traffic we got there like at 4 p.m. and we were struggling to find parking and I had already known that there was already a huge line outside I knew we were gonna most likely be in the back we eventually parked and then and we went to the back of the line and we um, started heading towards like inside. There was a lot of people. The stage was really small and it was also short. Like I wish the stage was a little bit more higher so at least the people in the back would be able to see them. But it was actually really short. I feel like after maybe like the 10th row or like 15th row of people you like can't see anything like it was really short basically if you were in the back you were just kind of screwed like you you can't see anything you could kind of see like the top of their heads but like that's about it so then my sister and i just stayed in the back and then we were just waiting we had to wait like a few more hours because um they didn't come out to like 5 45 or something i was really upset that i didn't get there early because i wanted to meet my mutuals and i did meet my mutuals but i wanted to meet them you know like have more time to like talk to them and like take pictures or whatever but i got there pretty late by the time i got there they were already in the crowd you know they can't really like come out where my sister and i got there we were just like standing and just chilling and just like listening to the music they were playing and like talking or whatever oh yeah when we were walking into the stadium or into the venue thingy a few people said hi to me and like they recognized me which i thought was really cool eventually when we settled on one location to like just stay at for like for like the whole thing um we were just staying there and then that's when a lot <laughs> i feel like i feel kind of like cocky i don't i don't want to come off as cocky or or like conceited or anything but a lot of you guys did come up and said hi to me and like asked for pictures and obviously i said yes to like everyone that asked i genuinely thought that maybe like a max five people were gonna come up to me and say hi like i i literally didn't think that that many people would come up to me genuinely because first of all i'm not from la i guess i don't know why i don't know i just like my brain is like small so it doesn't really comprehend like that like a lot of people know me i guess and then two this was a p1 harmony performance and i don't know i i just was not expecting it like i i guess i would expect it like at an nct concert you know since they're the group that i mostly talk about but i just wasn't expecting it from like the p1 harmony performance but obviously like there's people who are multis and like listen to a bunch of groups so i guess it just it didn't click to me like it, it literally i just I was not expecting it at all but a lot of you guys did go up to me and said hi and I'm gonna include um, the pictures that I got tagged in and the pictures that you guys sent me because oh my god it was so cute it was so cute
it was crazy okay i never thought that this would be a thing i've been recognized a lot before that you know like when i go to sarang hello or like it was it was like a lot it was like one person after the other and like a lot i made eye contact with like a lot of people and i i saw a lot of people staring or like looking over at me and like their little clicks and i felt kind of i felt kind of like um insecure or like like conscious i don't know what the word is but you know when like you feel people staring at you and you're, you're just kind of like oh like what do i do like i just want to say thank you for if you did come up to me and said hi like it meant a lot to me all of you guys were so so sweet and all you guys all of you guys were so pretty like you guys are so pretty i literally have a crush on all of you like there's no way i was like you're talking to me like you i literally fell in love i fell in love my bad if i was like awkward or anything i try not to be awkward i try to make like conversation i was just kind of like oh like i don't know what to say like oh i got a few dms also after the performance of people saying like oh i wanted to see you like i was trying to look for you but i couldn't find you or there was also people that said that they saw me but they didn't know it was me which is like crazy because do i look different in person like i know a few people were like i saw you but i thought you were taller <laughs> literally i got exposed i'm shorter obviously my pictures on instagram are catfish because i use like the 0.5 lens where like it makes your legs longer or whatever i'm actually 5'4 but a lot of people think i'm like 5'7 or 5'8 i wish i was 5'7 or 5'8 i feel like that's a good height but i'm only 5'4 so maybe people thought i was gonna be taller so like they weren't sure it was me i got a lot of dms of people saying like they saw me they didn't know it was me like they weren't sure or they like just completely had no idea and there was also people who who were like too scared or too like nervous to go up to me and to say hi and i really wish you guys did but like i totally understand it's such a scary feeling like going up to someone and just like starting conversation especially if you don't know that person but um i hope you guys don't think that i'm like i look scary or like intimidating because like i'm not and i don't think i look scary or intimidating i literally look like the scooby-doo van like my outfit was very much childish colors all of you guys were so so sweet and a few of you guys also told me that i'm one of the reasons why they got into nct and that made me so happy like oh my god i remember someone mentioned how i got them back into nct because they were kind of like falling off or you know how you like slowly stop listening to like a certain k-pop group and this person mentioned how i got them back into nct and i i think that's so cool like for some reason i just assume that like anyone who follows me already likes nct but i never thought of it that way of like me getting someone into nct i don't know my brain just not does not grab onto this like new information another thing that i that i thought was hella funny is that i stayed in like this little section with my sister like the whole time or like for like a few hours and throughout that time that's when a lot of you guys started going up to me sometimes it would just be one person going up to me or sometimes it'd be like a group and so it was just like a person after another person after another person there was this lady <laughs> who was standing next to us and she was just she kept looking at us right and i didn't realize until my sister pointed it out after like a few people asked me for a picture my sister told me she's like dude the lady she's like looking at you weird like like the lady was like confused on why everyone was going up to me and like asking me for a picture and i didn't notice until my sister told me and i was like oh and then eventually like after i kind of noticed that she kept looking over and i thought that was kind of funny i i feel like she was probably like really confused i would be confused too like yeah i think that's pretty much all i want to say about like meeting some of you guys the overall experience like made me very very happy and i didn't think that anything like this would ever happen obviously i do tiktok and like youtube and it's all on social media the only thing i see are like your guys's comments your guys's dms but then like seeing it in person and like actually meeting people who follow me and like who like my content is like a completely different um feeling i got a pimple i just it does not grab onto my brain because i'm i literally just like talk to a camera like i talk to a piece of plastic and then people like respond and comment to that and like i make friends and like it's just like online it's through like a screen you know but once it happens in person it's just like it's so crazy i like it was so surreal I don't know it was just such a crazy experience i wish i met a lot more of you i know some people wanted to meet up but like th like there was like so many people that it was kind of hard and i feel like maybe i should have announced that i was gonna go see p1 harmony because i didn't fully announce it like on my instagram or tiktok or anything but maybe i should have brought it up and like said something but again i didn't want to seem as like cocky i didn't want people to think that like oh she thinks she's a celebrity like 
does she think it's gonna be like a meet and greet or do like i just i don't want people to think that and i already have seen people saying stuff like that and thinking that way which is obviously i don't want people to think that like i've already seen a little bit of hate towards me because of like this whole pictures thing which like is something that i was scared about i just don't want anyone to misunderstand and i don't want anyone to think that that i want people to like idolize me or i just don't want any drama unnecessary like attention or like unnecessary hate because i'm not doing anything wrong and i don't think that anyone who follows me and who wants to take a picture with me i don't think that's wrong either i don't see how that's like a bad thing we're not spreading any negativity it's not hurting anyone so i don't understand why some people feel some type of way about it or like they think it's weird that like people like my videos or that people support me i don't know there's just some weird stuff going on which i was kind of scared about but you know people don't like me i understand not everyone's gonna like me and that's like totally fine but overall the experience was like amazing you guys literally made my day it was just insane i it was one of the highlights of the day because i was already upset about not being able to see p1 harmony from the back because i literally couldn't see anything and like just like meeting you guys and like having conversations with you guys and like talking about our biases and whatever it was just so wholesome yeah that's basically all i wanted to say about like meeting you guys and stuff and about the p1 harmony concert itself i was like all the way in the back like the further you get the more you could see because it's like a broader view but also further away so you see it more little you know and something that sucked is that the further we got uh, the more like clear we could see i guess but then the music we could barely hear the music from all the way in the back it was only the people in the front who were able to see them and also hear them but the audio in the like towards the back you couldn't really hear it was a lot more faint which kind of sucked because i wanted to like vibe in the back you know but i could barely hear the music overall like from the parts that i did see them perform they p1 harmony are amazing performers i didn't even like i i could just tell okay from the little pieces that i could see where i could see them perform and dance and stuff they are amazing performers like they have amazing stage presence and it's just like insane to me how talented they are it just blew my mind i don't know i i, I honestly think that if i did see them closer i would have like passed out like i just would not i would not be breathing i would just stop my oxygen would just leave my body and i would like turn into a corpse like i would just die like i don't think my my heart could have handled seeing them that close it was probably safe that i was all the way in the back because that's just crazy i don't know how people in the front did it like people in the like literally at the front i don't know how you guys are still breathing or like still alive i also saw that there was like a couple fights that broke out in the in the crowd i don't know what it was about i don't know what happened hopefully that anyone who got pushed or like punched is okay because that's kind of scary i talked to a few people who mentioned how they fell like they were in the front and they fell and like they were getting stepped on and like some people i think fainted or someone got an asthma attack and like it was just really bad and i was like oh my gosh like i have never seen a crowd like that and i don't know if la fans are just built different but like that is nowhere near how like bay area concerts are like it was just it was a different experience for sure it was a lot more hectic and it was just kind of it was kind of scary to see to be honest like i i really was not expecting that um especially after the fights broke i was like whoa like a lot of pieces were upset that they had a fight you know because it's like dude like you guys should you know we should be like on our best behavior and like you know be the there to support p1 harmony and like to cheer them on and instead they're creating like drama and like it just looks bad you know so i don't know what that was about but like hopefully it all worked out in the end or whatever and hopefully anyone who got injured or got like you know upset or anything is okay because that that's really overwhelming and it just sucks that that's how the LA performance was, you know? Can I just say that I literally, I literally didn't see any of the P1 Harmony members. Like, I could barely see. But I saw a little bit of soul. literally no words no words can express my love for soul like he's literally on my piece my background or my phone case he is so cute he's so adorable oh my gosh like oh my god and then <laughs> 
when um what's it called during that's it and scared we did the go soul chant and i thought that was so cute like i was so happy and i think i saw a video on tiktok of like after we said the go soul chant he started smiling really big which made me so happy his smile is so cute he's so adorable he's super talented i literally he's the cutest person ever i can't wait to like they go on tour and i can have like assigned seats or whatever so i can like fully see them and like you know be able to enjoy the concert and like fully experience like you know a legit concert and like performance i just know when i see so i'm just like break down crying i literally i don't i don't know something about him just like warms my heart like he just has a sweet and kind soul ah! <laughs> i didn't mean to do that he just he seems like the nicest and sweetest person ever i just i love his vibe he's just amazing like they all are like they're all insane they're all crazy after the concert ended i immediately texted brie i was like girl where are you i need to see you right now and then she ended up responding and um she was with kaya and her friends she ended up telling me where she was and i told my sister i was like girl you need to record this because this is so iconic like what my sister started recording and she recorded when i like i met when i met kaya and brie and it was so cute i rewatched the video um yesterday and it was so adorable like <laughs> It felt so surreal. They're both so gorgeous. They're both so sweet. I was just crazy actually seeing them in person because like I've only interacted with them through TikTok and Instagram and whatever. But actually seeing them in person, I don't know. It was just so crazy. Like I, I could not believe my eyes. I was like, is this Brie? Is this Kaya? Like is this, like I'm literally talking to celebrities right here. Like these women are just everything. I still can't believe. I wish I had more time to like um, talk to them or whatever. Hopefully next time we get more time to spend time with each other. We took a few pictures, we filmed a few TikToks. Um, I loved meeting them. I also met one of my other mutuals. She's also a Mark Stan. Her name is Sophia. She was so cute. Oh my god. She's also a Mark Stan. And she was wearing literally the cutest outfit that I've ever seen. I think she had like a frog backpack. It was so adorable. Oh my god. She was so sweet too. It was also crazy meeting her because I've talked to her a lot. And so I was so excited when I found out that she was also going to the uh, concert. Uh, like I, it made me so happy to finally meet all these people that I've talked to throughout the years or throughout like the months. It literally felt like a dream. Like once I got home, I was like, did that really just happen like did i really just meet all these people it passed by so fast too i wish i had more time i'm dumb you see next time i'm gonna get to la at like six in the morning after the concert my sister and i dropped off the rental car and then we went to straight to the airport and then we came back home and then that was it yeah that's basically my experience um going to la for 12 hours it was for sure exhausting since i had traveled literally the day before but it was so worth it this is a trip that i've been looking forward to for like a while like since i did finally decided to go and i'm so glad i did seeing how easily accessible and ha like how easy it is to travel from sf to la makes me want to like do it more you know in the future if there's like future like k-pop events or whatever because i feel like a lot more events happen in la because it's a bigger city you know but yeah i really hope that i meet more of my mutuals in the future and meet more of you guys as well i love talking to everyone even though i'm an extreme like introvert i do love meeting new people especially if like you know we like the same things we listen to like the same music or we have like stuff in common i just think it's really cool to like have conversation um and it's also very wholesome and it's just overall very sweet but yeah oh i forgot one of my followers gave me their bracelet it's so cute i took it to school today and i was like yeah i'm wearing this it has cute hearts and pearls and i felt so bad because we were like talking and she's like here take my bracelet and i was like are you sure like no 
and then she was like yeah and i was like okay and i've been wanting to get more bla more bracelets to wear because sometimes my arms are kind of like naked and so this one's really cute and then also someone also gave me a cute beaded ring and it has the t for teo and it's so cute i wore it today too because i need to show everyone at school that i got some hella nice jewelry if you guys don't listen to p1 harmony or if you guys are new to or want to start standing p1 harmony i 100 percent recommend they're super super talented they're so sweet they're very i feel like they're very connected with their fans and they have a lot of um like content and like interactions with their fans which i think is like amazing they're just an overall very talented group that deserves a lot more attention and love i'm very glad i got into them because like i said i love their music so much and hearing it live i was like just walked the penny like hey can't hear a thing you say i'm so glad they performed scared because i really wanted to see scared and they did i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog hopefully it was entertaining in some way i feel like i always talk a lot but i just wanted to give like a quick summary towards the end because i didn't really get a lot of clips of the event itself i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to follow my socials i'm very active on tiktok and instagram i'm, I'm too active on instagram like i post so much on there i feel annoying sometimes but gotta show off the fits bro gotta show off the fits in case in case i will see you guys in my next video goodbye bye Bye!